This is a really cool dinosaur bone uh, fossil. It's a um, hard, it's rock, it's solid rock, and it is a wonderful dinosaur bone specimen. This one uh, was found on the side of a creek, on the creek bank uh, in England. And uh, I acquired a couple of dinosaur bone specimens uh, from the collector who uh, found these along the creek bed. And uh, lo and behold, of course, they were both story stone, paleo story stone face and mammoth effigies. And uh, this one was carved and, and, and done very well. Uh, this is an excellent, excellent example. Uh, what they did is they used the inclusion here, this dark inclusion in the bone as the eye of the mammoths and the faces. So what we have here is an excellent, excellent baby mammoth with its little trunk right here, facing off to the right, and its hair tuft up here. Now the hair tuft has been worked some. It's been smoothed, ground and smoothed some in paleo times. And uh, that will form uh, the hair uh, of one of the faces and the beard of one of the faces. So uh, th that's uh, very interesting how they work that. And then, of course, the whole back part has been worked uh, to form the back of the mammoth. Now, when we turn it this way, now we have a mature mammoth facing off to the left. So now we have a mammoth with its trunk coming down all the way down here and its back sloping uh, back back towards the lower right. That's an excellent, excellent. They flake this right here. They chip that out for the eye of the mammoth. Excellent. And then they, this is the trunk that's been smoothed. Excellent mammoth image right there. So that's the mature mammoth. And again, that is the baby mammoth facing off to the right. Now, when we hold it this way, we have a great young face. Here's the eye, here's the beard, the nose, and the mouth down here that's been flaked. That's, that's, the, that's the young face facing right. And this is just great dinosaur bone fossil. <laughs> it's heavy, it's rock, solid. So that's the young face facing right. Now we have the old face facing left with the nose and the open mouth down here and the hair up on top of the head. That's the old face facing left. And the young face facing right. And then on the back side, we have another good mammoth image right there with the mammoth facing right. That's the mature mammoth. And then we have the young juvenile mammoth. Now I use mammoth and proboscidean, uh, proboscidean and mastodon um, all in the same manner. It could be a mastodon. Proboscidean would be a catch-all term. But we're more familiar with mammoth and mammoths. And mammoths were the biggest, baddest animal in the jungle back in Paleolithic times as far as mammals were concerned, land mammals. And... Uh, they could uh, take care of themselves pretty well. There wasn't any other animal that really could uh, deal with them, except uh, unless they were either old, babies, or maybe injured. But uh, Or man, of course. Uh, man uh, was able to hunt mammoths, of course. And Dr. Gramley believes that they were hunted uh, very likely by having a member of the tribe come up from behind and slash their Achilles tendon to render them, render them more helpless. Interesting, interesting observation on his part and interesting theory. Um, but nevertheless, this is a, this is a, a wonderful face and mammoth effigy from England made out of fossilized dinosaur bone.